new parts, and 3S power. Here's an update on the CTC01. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm back today with the 124 scale truck chassis. I'm happy to see that so many of you are interested in this platform, so today I'm back with a little update. I've got some new parts designed and a new 3S capable ESC to power this rig. Before I dive into what's new though, for those who aren't familiar with this project, I'm in the process of creating a simple, easy to 3D print RC truck chassis, ideal for converting a plastic model kit such as this one into a fully functional rig that you can actually drive around. Now I'm not going over the top with this chassis, for the hobbyist ready to spend a few grand, you can build yourself a phenomenal rig such as these with huge amounts of detail and impressive power. Instead, I'm really trying to keep things simple and inexpensive for the DIY RC or model building enthusiast. For example, adapting some simple and cheap N20 motor and gear reduction assemblies into a durable dual motor on axle design. Feel free to check out the prior video that I made where I introduced this project. Today's video will be an update on what I've been working on over this last week. First of all, I have to give a huge thanks for all of the support and interest since the last video. I wasn't really sure how many people would be interested in a chassis like this, but it turns out there are certainly some truck fans in the audience and some new subscribers to this channel since that last video. Furthermore, I'm happy it seems most people really understand the concept of this chassis. I'm well aware that there are much more scale looking and stronger truck chassis already available on the market, but the idea here is to create a design in a way that it can be easily 3D printed and assembled using standard hardware and inexpensive electronics. For a hobbyist who might already have a small size battery or receiver laying around, you can probably build a complete running truck for well under $100. The lifelike appearance of the truck will be achieved by using one of many different 124th and 125th scale plastic model kits as a donor. Will some soldering and custom building be required to make it all work? Absolutely, but for many of us that's part of the fun of the hobby. Pulling a ready to run rig out of the box or following along step by step building a sweet new vehicle is always fun, but it's hard to beat the satisfaction of completing a custom car or truck that you've built yourself. Now please note as I stated in the last video, which is still the case currently, the STL files are not yet ready and have not yet been posted. Of course stay tuned for that announcement. But all of the support recently from our generous Patreon members has been phenomenal, so again, thank you. In the last video this truck was running on a 2S LiPo battery. I have since ordered a compact 3S LiPo compatible ESC, perfect for a smaller scale project such as this. Even on the higher voltage 3S pack, this truck is certainly not setting any speed records, but it works. There seems to be a decent amount of modulation and torque that will be sufficient for pulling the lightweight trailers sold alongside these truck kits. As mentioned previously, adapting this chassis to use stronger and higher speed motors such as an N50 size motor is something we're considering. For now though, keep in mind that these N20 size motor and gear assemblies are like 3 or 4 bucks a piece, and while not amazing, they will work. For any builders out there though, I would certainly recommend running these 12 volt motors on 3S to get as much power as you can out of them. Back over on the bench, I've got some new parts to install. A lot of these parts aren't really too exciting, mostly small tweaks such as making the leaf springs a bit thinner to allow them to flex more. I can probably make them even thinner than this, but the front suspension is certainly softer now with these installed. I'm also working on adjusting the steering components. As mentioned in the last video, this truck will be able to turn quite sharp. Not exactly drift car levels of steering angle, but certainly sufficient for this type of vehicle. I want to make sure that at no point the steering components can come into contact with the leaf springs. It's one thing to see it in CAD, but it's nice to be able to observe it in physical form and make sure everything functions as it should. I got some comments about the chassis being quite short, but as you can see it'll be very easy to extend the wheelbase of the chassis to fit your project. Here I designed, 3D printed, and installed an additional crossmember and some frame rail pieces to better match the length of the frame included in the plastic model kit that I'm using as a donor. I may experiment with some different crossmember pieces and make a tub for some of the electronics to fit into that'll go between the frame rails. That'll come later though, and I have a few ideas for maybe hiding the components like the battery inside of the fuel tanks that get mounted onto the outer side of each frame rail. One way or another, I'll get those electronics hidden, but ideally I'd like to have a full interior and maybe even an engine bay if possible, 
Too early to focus on that just yet though. The wheelbase is very easy to adjust since there isn't even a drive shaft running down the center. Any builder will be able to fine tune the wheelbase to be exactly what they need. If you'll be building a tractor trailer truck, the fifth wheel will be an important component. I've begun prototyping a very simple design which will utilize two magnets and a pin to help keep the trailer from coming off while driving, though still allow it to be easily detachable when desired. This is different from what's used in the real world as there's an actual mechanism for locking and unlocking the trailer. Recreating something like that in this scale would be cool, but I think I'll start off with a really simple design and maybe in the future I can come back and see if something a bit more complex and intricate can be made that will more closely replicate the real thing. As you can probably tell, the position of the fifth wheel can be adjusted, just like on a real truck. But where you position it probably isn't really going to make much of a difference. I still thought it would be nice though to incorporate some adjustability in this section. A few other small changes were made as well, but overall I think the main frame, drivetrain, and suspension pieces are getting very close to being ready for a version 1 release. I'm sure I'll know more about what I want to change, add, or improve after I've built the first truck. I think the basic chassis design that you see here is getting close to being ready for a public release. More variants, optional parts, and accessories can always be added later on in the future. Of course some more boring stuff has to be completed before the first batch of files can be released, such as creating assembly tutorials, creating different size components to fit different model kits, and figuring out a required hardware and non-3D printable parts list. This will take some time of course, but I want to make sure that the tutorials and documentation is ready before posting the files. I'm also very fortunate to have some friends and fellow hobbyists who will be building trucks utilizing this chassis and providing their feedback as well as hopefully sharing some ideas of their own. Some of these builds might even be showing up on some other great RC channels here on YouTube. No release date has yet been decided, but certainly stay tuned. In the meantime, if you're interested in doing a car or light truck model to RC conversion, certainly check out our selection of files over on Patreon or our kits available through our website. Links of course are below in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this little update, and I'm certainly looking forward to building this GMC General. That's all I have for today though, so as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.